Hey guys, welcome to the shop. I think it's Super Bowl Sunday. I don't know. I'm building a guitar. I've got my priorities in life. Okay, let's cover the fashion first. I got my Bill Hodges hat on. Shout out to my friend Rawhide Jeff Moser. Where are you at? Are you in Alaska? Are you in the Antarctica? Are you in Siberia? He only moves drilling rigs where there's ice and minus 40 degree temperatures. So I hope you're warm, dude. Shout out to you. Next, your music tip of the day. I got my snake arm t-shirt on. I'm not flashing you. I'm just showing you my t-shirt. Relax. Snake arm out of Long Beach, California. They call themselves snake arm sometimes. Restaurant with a V. I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's your music tip for the day. Right about now, there's an iCard, that I thing popping up. Click on that. You're going to see their video. I think you're going to like their music. Housekeeping out of the way first. End of the video is my email. I get emails. I like your emails. In the middle, it'll pop up to subscribe. Uh, there's my playlist and a video you might like. Anyway, let's move on now. This video is called Nuts, and it's talking about, yeah, these kind of nuts that go on the guitar right here. You might have noticed that some of my videos uh, recently have focused on string height and how bad it is when your string height isn't right and when you get to certain points where you can't fix it because you didn't notch your box right or or anyway any number of things this video is going to be a little quick one about taking whether you're using a bolt or a piece of bone or a piece of hardwood and how to get this set at the right height so you don't have a bunch of string height problems let's hit the workbench okay here we are at the bench i'm working on this guitar it will be in an episode called history lesson um there it is bare you'll see it decked out here along with the story uh, but you'll remember in the last video we talked a lot about box height and there is a i card popping up right about now to link you to that episode we figured out how to cut uh the box lid out and to get the right height on the neck so our strings wouldn't be too high this episode is about the knot the knot goes right there or on one of these fingerboards where it's been cut out right there so i'm going to give you a couple hints on how i do this okay so the first decision we want to make is uh, what material do we want to use do we want to use a, a piece of hardwood for the knot uh, do we want to use a piece of bone um, and then there are a couple different configurations uh, like on this neck the nut sits at the end like so uh, but this one has a, a groove in it where the nut sits here uh, this configuration uh, again it, it involves uh, cutting things and and dropping this down and shaping um, this one here is more about getting a wedge of wood at the right height and then that just sits right in there like so and then we just cut it off and and shape it i hope you can see the camera angle now just like the last episode with the how critical it was to get the fingerboard and the neck above the box top so our string height could be right this is equally important so you'll see i have the frets in they're all dressed and ready to go uh, this neck is done i'm not going to match book this particular neck so it's ready to go and i'm going to put this straight edge on top of the frets and i'm going to take it to where the nut goes right here now uh if I have to cut the edge of the nut off, I'm going to put it up to one side and I'm going to draw a line with a sharp pencil, just like that. Now, I want to cut just outside of that line when I uh, do this with a saw. By the way, don't try to make cuts on a small piece of wood like this on a chop saw or uh, a radial arm saw because this is how you cut your fingers off or get this spun out and spit out. But anyway, going to cut outside of that line not on the line because you really don't want to end up with the knot being smaller than this so that gives you a little room if you make that cut there and put a straight edge on that where you can sand that down now i haven't done any work with this yet except to put that mark on there but i'm going to want to know how tall this is going to be and the way to measure that is i'm going to put my straight edge on here like so and i'm going to make a mark like this right there like so 
Now, what's going to happen here is I'm going to take that mark right there and I'm going to figure out how much of this I have to cut off. So this will be just above here. So do I want an eighth of an inch? Uh, do I want a little bit higher? Um, because if you cut it right there, it's going to be at the same height as the frets and there's going to be no room uh, to fret here. Follow me? So this, you're certainly not going to cut at that line, but you're going to cut above that line. So you want to end up with the nut sticking up some, like so maybe. And then you're going to round this off and work it and, and, and put your string grooves in it. But this can't be too high. If it's too high, the action is too high. It's too far up off the fingerboard. When you fret, the octaves change. The intonation changes. You don't want that. And you certainly don't want it too low because when you push here, strings down, the strings hit the frets further down the board, the fingerboard, and then you get a dead strings or buzzing or things like that. So you want to take a little bit of time and figure out where ultimately do I want my strings to fit in the groove and allow for that. Then you just take this to the saw, cut this off, or take a hand saw, cut this off, and then you're ready to go. Now if you're using uh, a fingerboard like this instead of one that blunt ends that you would glue something on, you've got this groove here. You just put the piece of wood in here like so. But again, you want to figure out uh, if the frets were here, first thing is Let's pretend there's frets there, but there's not. That we would put this here. Well, if there's frets here, this would already be up at the same level. So I certainly couldn't use this piece of wood. So I would need to use something a little bit taller. So I would uh, take a taller piece of wood. Again, I'm going to make sure it's flush over here. I'm going to cut there right outside of that line. Gives me room to sand. And then I'm going to use this again to figure out how much I have to cut or how tall my piece of wood might be. You might actually start off with something more like this that's taller that would fit down in there. Uh, you lay this here, the same as the other one. So what I've done on this guitar is I've made this knot out of bone. It's going to sit right there. Um, I've rounded it off where the rounded off side is towards the tuners. And I'm going to use my trusty duco cement to cement this down right here and then i will once that's all set up and ready to go i will cut the grooves in here once i know where my strings are going to be and how deep they are based on their size all right i strung this thing up i got four strings on it and i measured uh using a metric uh, ruler it's just easier that way trust me than trying to figure out 30 seconds and 16ths and all that I came in seven millimeters off of the edge I'll do the same thing over here and I'm going to take this triangular file and I'm going to start working this knot down a little bit like this like so and then I'll just slot that string in here of course I'm going to do that at the other end at the knot and um, come over here I've measured seven millimeters on this side where the big thumper string is. And then I'm going to just cut right there. Now you know that this bigger string is going to take more filing than the smaller string. And then I'm going to space these two equally like so, about like that. And I'm going to put a mark uh, there and there. And then do the same thing, file that down. I want to get my action up here about right, and then I'll make my adjustments on the bridge. So let me get this filed and I'll give you a last look. There we go, they're all there. They're going to need some more work, but the last thing I'm going to do is pop that string over, take the flat side of this file, and knock my mark off the top. There, like so. Anyway, when it was all done, uh, these ended up being about seven millimeters apart for me uh, there you can see um, whatever works for you just measure and do what you need to do and that's it alrighty then thanks for watching this uh, video about the knot 
always a work to do fine tuning uh, when you get down to the electronics going in and your fine detail you want to make sure this is right look across the strings remember one's thicker uh, than the other and all that and um, you're seeing more and more of this guitar and it's going to show up very soon with a story behind it and it will also put you in my head about theming and how to theme a guitar and and where that comes from at least what inspires me now do you remember we began with snake arm restaurant whatever you want to call it i showed you that little clip yeah i guess what i've got a little clip of troy mura of snake arm restaurant playing one of my guitars let's close out with that as always, thanks for a subscribe, a like, and uh, check out my other videos. Here's Troy.